Hello. While I was on vacation, I received another package, which I was very looking forward to. This. This is, in this box, is something very nice. I've been picking some disk detainer locks lately, and the tools I had worked very well. But I thought it was time to get something, well, better. Um, so when uh, the new uh, disk container pick by RWB Custom Picks came out, I knew I had to have it. So there it is. Nice box. Uh, it came with some uh, disk turners. I'm stupid. I was warned that there uh, I shouldn't put too much much force on them, but of course I did, and I broke one. So I'll be using this. And there's the pick. Um, Chris Picks made a nice video showing how to uh, assemble it. So I'll just do it in here as well. Uh, can always be helpful uh, if you want to assemble a DD pick. I'm going to do it on this uh, ABUS Plus 8850. Uh, it's front tensioning, no butterfly discs. Um, the pick came with uh, uh, tips for front tensioning. I didn't order the uh, rear tensioning ones because I want to make those. Uh, try making those myself nice challenge so uh, let's see if I can reassemble it correctly okay first thing you do is with the tensioner you find you turn the well the first disc is a spinner so I can just turn that and I'll find the second disc and turn just that now I did, I, as you can see, I turned just the first two discs and now I can just rest the tip on there and put the handle on. Like this and Turn the set screws. So now this is at the correct depth. Next step is taking the picking tip. Putting that in, let's do it like this, all the way to the bottom, there we go, put this handle on, and then Other handle There you go This is now set up correctly, well almost, let's show the pick real quick, as you can see there are some nice dimples on here, That's, uh, those are visual aids, so you can uh, know what disc you're on, uh, on this side dimples are I think 
two millimeters apart on this side 1.6 so you can you choose uh, which side you need for the, the lock you are picking Amos plus is two millimeter I think um, only thing I uh, want to adjust right now as you can see there are some lines here as well so you can see the rotation and I'd like to be those have those on top a little bit more so let's uh, adjust that I also have to think I'm rotating that way so the I want the line somewhere around here Make sure this doesn't. Uh, this is correct, so then I can loosen the screws a bit. And I should be able to rotate this, not yet. this so it's straight now and the lines are somewhat near the dimples so I can orient myself and all that's left to do is because we're tensioning with this part it's a bit small a bit, uh, also the lock can get in the way so I'm putting this handle on, it just slides on and then you will fasten it with another set screw there you go, so now the handle is set up for the Abus Plus lock I'm going to try to pick well, let's put the lock in the vise and see how picking goes Right, I've got everything set up. Let's try to pick the lock. Turn the discs, I always forget that. And these are the right dimples. Tension starting on the first disc uh, or the second disc. I think that's it. We got some more movement. Not really sure, but if it's a max turn, max cut. Uh, the feedback is always a little bit different, I think. Some more movement, even more, and I think more. A bit muddy feedback now, so let's, or, or maybe it's. In the case, could be this one is binding, got even more movement, so that's nice. Oh, 
and I'm open. Very nice. Feedback is really good in this thing. Uh, let's get it out. I was really happy. I'm still really happy with the 3D printed picks I have. But you notice the difference in build quality with this. The feedback feedback is more clear, uh, which of course is to be expected with a all steel tool. Uh, works very well. I like the dimples for uh, orienting. On the other picks, I didn't use the guides uh, for picking because they there were too many lines that distracted me. Uh, not with this one, so that's very nice. Uh, I don't really use these lines, just a little bit for to know kind of where I am, but I'm mostly going for feedback uh, when I'm turning. But uh, the disc locator uh, dimples, they, they work very, very well. Um, I really like this disc to tension. My hands are a bit sweaty, so they were, my fingers were a bit uh, slipping sometimes, but uh, not too much. Uh, yes, very well made, very nice pick. And I'm very happy I got this. Well done.